Hi everybody, I'm Allie and welcome to Strategically Helpful. So in today's episode of my Overly Organized series, I am sharing the variety of different ways I upcycle and repurpose my empty candle jars. And I often find that I have a lot on hand. So the most common way I repurpose candle jars is to turn them into these apothecary jars by adding a little decorative knob on top of it and it makes it a little bit more functional as a jar with a lid that can be removed. So this one I drilled through the lid and added some hardware, whereas this other decorative knob I actually just used the proper kind of glue that will connect glass to metal. And then sometimes I will go an extra step and I will actually add decoration to the jar. Or here's another example of a jar that I etched a design on. And this is basically our loose coin bank, I guess you could call it. And the method that requires the least amount of energy is for me just to use these empty jars as chaos tamers. So I have one here on my coffee table that I use to corral all the various different supplies I use to maintain my dog's grooming and hygiene. And then here in my medicine cabinet, I use it to contain all of the various stick-like or pencil-like devices and products I have in my bathroom to keep them all contained and easy to see and access whenever I need them. I wanted to share how easy it is to add that extra etching detail on the repurposed candle jars. So this is the decal I printed up on my Cricut and I will link a video in the description below to explain further how to get to this step. So all I'm doing here is using transfer tape to transfer the decal onto the repurposed candle jar. And my transfer tape has grid on it so you can kind of make sure you apply the decal level and straight. And then I'm going to use some inexpensive vinyl from the Dollar Tree that was too translucent for my preference, just to mask off the remaining areas on the candle that I don't want to risk getting any etching cream on. And then I have used etching cream a lot, so I'm to the point where I don't bother wearing gloves because I am able to apply the product without ever coming in contact with it. But Definitely, if you're gonna be doing a bigger project, uh, definitely safety first, wear, wear gloves. But I'm just applying the product and I'll leave it on for about 15 minutes. And sometimes I will shift it around. If you do, sometimes you get a deeper etch. But for the most part, I just leave it on. And then when everything's done after the 15 minutes, I actually keep the product or I'll repurpose and collect the leftover product because you can continue reusing it. And then I will take the handle itself over to the sink, rinse everything off with a paper towel and dry it off and remove all of the decal masking. And voila, that's it. That's how easy it is to make this really nice personalized addition and give the candle new life and make it meaningful. So I find between this and the lid with the little knob on it is a great way to upcycle. And so it's just a great way to make a personalized jar that someone might be able to put to use. And without anything extra, I think it looks really good, but I actually purchased some rub and buffing product that I went to go get right now. Um, there is a product called Rub and Buff, but it's a single tube and it's a single color. And I actually wanted a variety and you don't need to use that much. So this is actually a product I found online and it has multiple colors and it's Matsuka Taxidermy Rub on Kit. And I will link it in the description below. And I just apply a couple of coats of this kind of rub on product that soaks into the etched portion and once it dries down, it gives it a nice tint of color. I've read online that you can make this product more water resistant by baking it in the oven, but I've never gone that far because my expectation is you're not gonna be putting candles, jars in the dishwasher. But if you're aware that that does the trick, let me know in the comments. And also let me know in the comments if you would like me to do a more extensive video on this process. I have also read that the Armor Etch works on metal 
style cups. And so I'm interested to try that process and I'm happy to create a video on the whole trial and error. And that's how easy it is to give a old candle jar a new life and a new purpose and make it a nice customized gift. And that's just a handful of ways that I have found to repurpose candle jars in a meaningful, helpful way. I hope that by sharing my uses, maybe you will gain some inspiration or ideas in ways that you can repurpose candle jars and give them a second life in some manner. If you found value in this video, please give me a thumbs up and consider subscribing for even more content. I hope I will see you in my next video and until then, have a good one.